we are going to learn about pyridoxine which is a water soluble vitamin it is also called vitamin b6 vitamin b6 is a collective term used for pyridoxine pyridoxal and pyridoxamine all of these are the derivatives of pyridine structurally vitamin b6 consists of a pyridine ring this is the place for attachment of a functional group depending upon the structure of this functional group it can be a primary alcohol that is pyridoxine or an aldehyde that is pyridoxal or an amine that is pyridoxamine the active form of vitamin b6 is the ecoenzyme pyridoxal phosphate all of these three compounds can serve as precursor of this active coenzyme form the biochemical function of vitamin b6 is that it participate as a coenzyme in reactions involving amino acids for example transamination decarboxylation condensation and deamination during transamination the amino acids get converted to keto acids like alanine is converted to pyruvate by the enzyme alanine transaminase and aspartate is converted to oxaloacetate by the enzyme aspartate transaminase in both of these reactions pyridoxal phosphate act as a coenzyme accepting an amino group to form pyridoxamine phosphate these two keto acids enter the citric acid cycle and get oxidized to generate energy hence vitamin b6 is an energy releasing vitamin here pyridoxal phosphate causes decarboxylation of 5 hydroxy tryptophan producing serotonin which is a neurotransmitter involved in regulation of sleep behavior and blood pressure another example of this process is decarboxylation of histidine that result in formation of histamine which is a vasodilator and involves in allergic reactions causing inflammation in the process of condensation pyridoxal phosphate is required for condensation of glycine and succinyl coa to form delta amino lipolytic acid which is the first compound in porphyrin synthesis pathway leading to heme synthesis in the process of deamination pyridoxal phosphate causes elimination of amino group from serine converting it into usable products like pyruvate that can be used as energy now coming to the dietary sources pyridoxine is primarily present in plants such as wheat corn cabbage and roots while pyridoxal and pyridoxamine are found in animal foods such as egg yolk fish milk and meat coming to the clinical indications vitamin b6 deficiency is associated with neurological symptoms such as depression irritability nervousness and mental confusion these symptoms are related to the decrease in synthesis of neurotransmitters b6 deficiency also causes decrease in hemoglobin levels associated with hypochromic microcytic anemia this is due to reduction in heme production some drugs also cause vitamin b6 deficiency for example isoniazid is a drug frequently used to treat tuberculosis it forms an inactive derivative with pyridoxal phosphate inhibiting all the enzymes which depend on it another drug is penicillamine which is used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis it also reacts with pyridoxal phosphate to form inactive derivative so administration of these drugs should be accompanied by dietary supplementation of vitamin b6 to avoid deficiency symptoms vitamin b6 is the only water soluble vitamin with significant toxicity manifesting as sensory neuropathy significant improvement occurs when the vitamin is discontinued